Oh, here we are, finally. We were meant to be here yesterday. And so my drone is staying at the airport for a little bit. We'll get it on the way back, but it just took so long. It's just so much paperwork. Anyway, so we're joining up with our tour group now, hopefully. What up, what up? So we just checked into our little, uh, what we call a casa particular. Basically it's someone's house, that's the accommodation that we have through this tour. Um, they put you up, show you the house, do breakfast for you. He's got some of that fresh mango too. So ah, Oh, tough. Mm. Oh, it's like a mango ice pot that's melted. <laughs> it's like saying water is like ice that's oh, melted. Ice is melted. <laughs> that was waiting for your reaction. Pretty similar. We're just chilling for a bit. Now we're gonna go tour this town. So, huge lightning strike that felt like it was next to our head hit this palm tree. Palm tree on fire. <laughs> Good we might need more than an umbrella. Yeah. Sunny day today, just turned real rainy. Apparently it'll last like this for either a few minutes or a few hours. We don't know. Walking trip cancelled. Doing it tomorrow. So there's been a blackout, city's out of power. We tried getting dinner at the recommended place, they got no power. They've tried recommending it somewhere else. We're going there now, we're gonna see what it's like. I'm not being very optimistic. <laughs> So this is where we were yesterday, where the big storms were going on. Now we're here to check it out. Hey Caesar. Very nice. Very bloody nice. Nothing can stop me, I'm on the way up. Guevara Memorial. Architecture is very well preserved, but even when Trinidad was founded, so, the two greyhounds, and the walking tour won't take long, don't worry. The two greyhounds were there as the guardians of Trinidad, but also a sign of wealth. <laughs> So weird. <laughs> Hello. Natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit his taxi. Left, right. 
plantaciones del café, a, dopo a la cascada, a la piscina natural y dopo a la plantación de la caña de azúcar. Ajá. Café. Es natural to the coffee. Uh, possible to one the honey or one the sugar. Sí. Okay. Thank you. So we weren't sure if that wallet was going to be there or not. Um, yeah, I'm very lucky man, very lucky man. Because um, we were riding along, I had my backpack on my back, slightly open. It shouldn't have been open, it shouldn't have been open. And uh, we were worried that the wallet was in there and it had fallen out, but uh, I'm off the hook. Whew. Feels good to know that I live to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the top of the Casa Particulares that we are staying at. As you can see, lots of colors around and lots of funky shapes on the roof. That's the cat daddy. We just had our salsa last night. And I look like I've had a shower because it's really sweaty. Look at my back. Rooftop little bar here. The plan of attack so far is. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> that wasn't the plan of attack. The plan of attack is we're gonna go listen to some music after dinner and then go dancing in a nightclub in a cave. As long as it stays not raining and we think it's gonna be busy, which it's looking ominous, we're not sure. It's eleven thirty and we are heading to a cave party. Who knows? See how it is? We're really tired though. We just had a power nap. But tomorrow we have an eight hour drive. So we figured we can sleep tomorrow. Mira, oh, so cool. Por casualidad, Lara ya coge me para allá. She likes the music. Oh, is that it? We left eight and a half hours ago. Admittedly, we have stopped for lunch and breaks, but long day. Just made it to Vinales. Activities are mostly tomorrow. It's about 5.15. Probably heading out for dinner tonight. Very, very sore from the horses yesterday. Muscles down the middle of my back, between my legs, very sore. Very unexpected. It's actually fine. <laughs> So we almost had like a big fright just then. I thought I might have to go all the way back to our <laughs> apartment back there and to get a new battery for the GoPro. And it was almost so bad, wasn't it, Gat Daddy? What do you mean about? I don't know, just look on your face. Like, oh, you're a dog. Oh, I'm not a pom. Hi. Yeah, so that was really lucky that I actually had battery in it. That would have taken so long. For you, yeah. And so much effort. Uh, got a lasagna under there. Cat Daddy's hitting up the salad. Let's cut into this lasagna and see what we find. Oh, it's turf. Here we go, into the cave. Oh, cool. We're at a Cuban cigar farm. Hola, hola. Wow. A lot of chickens. <laughs> Inside the national park of Viñales, okay? Oh, wow. This is a tobacco plantation because it's inside. We keep here only the 10% of this leaf, okay? Wow. 
with the 10%. When the leaf is finally dry, are crispy. So they have a guy from the government that comes once or twice a week to work out how much they're actually producing so they know that they're not lying with the 90% that they have to give back. So they keep the best 10% for themselves, which makes sense. Oh, wow, okay. So I'm gonna roll one. For me, just one minute because I've been rolling cigars all my life since I was like eight and years, okay? Look, after fermentations, nicotine is here. To make cigars of gunning hand rolls, I just remove the central vein. Look, one by one, leaf by leaf, I remove it like this. Filler, bander, probe. All cigars in Cuba, even in the factories, are handmade. It. No machines. Look, one by one, it's made like this. So great. Remember, I've been doing this all my life. <laughs> Every single cigar is handmade. Yes. In Cuba. Wow. That's why it's so expensive. Uh, oh, because that, oh. that's it. If you Faster, were, less than one minute. Less than one minute. Wow, okay. wow. How many people would be making them at one time? Yeah, normally farmers, we don't roll cigars during the day. We do it at night. Mm -hmm. uh, because during the day, we have to care the animals, the plantations. Mm -hmm. But at night, after dinner, with the dinner table, I don't use only, I use only this, you see, yeah. the machines. Me, my dad, my my uncle, my cousin, my brothers, rolling, talking, drinking, I don't know. Uh, maybe this big. Wow. That's another gauge for oh, to measure the Can you put your hand next to it again? <laughs> Holy moly. That's amazing. So what they do here is the corn is for the off-season of the cigars. Puts a bit of nutrients back into the soil, because the cigars take a lot of nutrients from the soil. With the corn, they feed it to the... Chickens. 